this is a brand new building. You're right. Yeah, so we're, we're just developing the Everything Olds Information and Entrepreneurship Centre. It's a place that brings you know, volunteers and entrepreneurs and all the wonderful things that exist in our community together and get a true sense of what the community has to offer. There was a very interesting initiative happening here. The town got together and said it's not all politics and jam. Mm -hmm. We would like to take ownership of some of our own destiny and the Olds Institute was founded. The Olds Institute formed out of a partnership uh, between the town, the county, the college, the Ag Society, the Chamber of Commerce, and create the story for the community. Why another organization in the town? So I would suggest that we're an enterprising nonprofit. We're a group of, of volunteers and community members that want to make a difference, both in the economy and the lifestyle of the community. We take sound business principles and apply them to the way that we operate so that it's not just doing something for somebody, it's enabling them to do something for themselves. What is so great about Olds? Tell me. We're kind of an oxymoron, right? You, you have that the name Olds, but it's a really innovative place. We love Olds uh, and we have our favorite spots. I mean, the yeah. Old College Brewery is one of them and, and the meat shop is another one. But. Uh, we don't know the town like you do. Are you going to show us around? Yeah, we, we definitely have to get out and explore. We appreciate the opportunity to hang out with a couple of cowboys and, and see if we can get into some, some trouble and have some fun and, and learn a whole bunch about, uh, about each other and, and the great place we share. You okay. know your way around, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So shall we go to Olds Regional Exhibition? See so what's uh, We don't need up? a map? No, no. We'll, no. Go, we'll go digital. We'll good. We'll That's go why digital. we have phones. But, and you have Onet. And we have Onet. Because Onet's available the whole town for. And free community Wi-Fi. Smith is taking me around town. My name is Hendrik. Hendrik, nice yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And you are? Tammy Gardner. Tammy. And I serve as the executive director here at the exhibition. So the exhibition has built this commercial kitchen space over the past year. And we've been extraordinarily fortunate to partner with a local restaurateur, entrepreneur. So there's a little prep work happening today as they're preparing to feed the Junior High School Rodeo Finals Banquet for 380, I think. Mitch is showing us around and he says Mountain View Power is so important in this town because you are changing the way that people think about power in the community, right? Yes, because they're finding out that they can uh, buy power and support the community as well. And the money doesn't have to be leaving here. Old community took ownership of their own power. They are passing that money right back into the community, taking control of your own destiny. Yeah, which is the way to go. You lead the way, huh? Okay. I was in on Friday. You guys have phenomenal food. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Good. We had barbecue and... Barbecue? Yeah. That's what we do. You smoke in the back? Yeah, we have our smokers right here. Oh, right here? Yeah, you betcha. Nice. Good. Recommend it. Definitely recommend it. Have you guys been in before? We've been here once before. Okay. We heard about this place. They're saying it's meat heaven. You name it, so they have a connoisseur club. You can come in and get stuff you wouldn't find anywhere else that they'll do custom for you. This is just a, a favorite hangout spot. We're not introducing anybody. This is where there's cold beer, this is where we are. Absolutely. You guys enjoy. Here you go, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining us, guys. It's always good to end up at the, at the, at the bar counter. <laughs> This facility is brand new. What's the relationship uh, with the Institute? Having the Chamber of Commerce and the Olds Institute under the same roof is a pot of idea generating opportunities. There's business and there's economic development and those two really work well together. One of the things that I think we found interesting is having the, the gigabit internet. Yes, oh yeah, for sure. People who are making use of that are finding it very helpful. This has been over a decade already since you started this initiative. What has been the impact on the community in your view? Economic development is adding capacity to businesses. So they have more capacity, they can hire more people, they can sell more product, 
but it also has a very critical social piece to it because there are some people who cannot afford to be necessarily hooked to any kind of bandwidth of any significance. And of course, when they do that, they eliminate themselves and their children from a huge part of society. From a social development standpoint, that's, that's very important. There's a very fine lesson we've learned in the short time we've been around, and that is to see the value that's created when you collaborate with people that share your vision or that share the opportunity. When you ask people to take part and they, they have to put some effort into to achieving the goal, to maintaining it afterwards, you're both invested in that project. We have north of 150 volunteers every year. They amaze me and I think it's, it's because they're just as invested as, say, the community or any of our big institutions. <laughs>